<clears throat> what is going on everybody so it's out here it's raining and I'm trying to catch some fish uh, it's been pretty slow but um, I want to go ahead and uh, start already answering questions um, and really criticism about the bracket tour that we've started and we've done um, I've already had messages and I've already seen criticism you know it's like everything you do you know whether good or bad you know somebody's got something to say and it's cool man um, I'd rather have people chatting about it than not you know when it comes to stuff like this man good or bad at least people are talking and that's just the way it is you know you have good press bad press it is what it is so I welcome it all but I want to answer some questions and some criticisms I've already seen and um, hopefully you get to hear us out uh, and what um, what happened and why we started it and why we think that this is here to stay so kind of fast bracket tour started uh, just from a sole crowdsourcing idea because of the uh, coronavirus going around and you know the whole reason why we wanted to do this is because we wanted to go out there and compete and you know live events were shutting down all across the nation and you know the guys just didn't have an opportunity to compete uh, you know we were sitting on our hands and so you know the logical thing was to get people away from the boat ramps and just have people fish their own waters and you know bracket them up 64 guys uh, in a uh, in a bracket and you know go one-on-one uh, which is really you know I mean it's it's not a new idea but it's really never taken off uh, and never really been done because everybody's used to putting you know, 100, 200 guys on a lake and just go go and at it as a pool and, um, you know, off we go. Um, you know, and that's a great traditional way. It's been doing, you know, they've been doing that for years. And I love them. I love live events. I love, you know, again, meeting everybody and fishing the same water and all that stuff. Um, but as this thing continues to prove itself out, uh, you know, we hear that, you know, all these guys have honey holes and all these guys have uh, a disadvantage because you have the north versus the south and you know everybody's not fishing the same waters and it's just not fair um you know all we heard a lot of chatter about fellsmere uh being the premier um lake in the country and all the all the bass in fellsmere can't compete with any other lake in the country well i'm here to tell you all the guys that fills, fish fellsmere are no longer in the tournament they got bounced so that that pretty much answers that question um yeah uh, I will tell you the average uh, greatest fish that has been caught in our tournament so far is not from the south. The gentleman who's posted the biggest average so far in this tournament and now is an elite eight comes from Michigan. Yeah, you heard me. Comes from the UP of Michigan. He's averaged not over 90 inches every round. He's beaten people in the south. And he's a machine with smallmouth fishing. Um, so there goes that argument about north versus the south and how the south has the biggest fish and everything else. That's not true. And the great and almighty Felsmere has been defeated. Four guys are in has fished Felsmere consistently. Three of the four are gone. And the one who is still left didn't fish Felsmere. He fished the Everglades. So uh, you know, all, all, all in all, we hear about that. Now, I also heard an argument that said, well, the only way to truly crown a champion um, is to have everybody fish the same water so it's, a, it's an even um, playing field for everybody. Well, I'm going to tell you, I have fished the tournaments scene, and I fished um, tournaments to where you've had 120 to 150 to 200 guys on the same water. And let me tell you, it's not fair sometimes. It's not the way to crown a champion sometimes, because I'll tell you why. When I'm fishing individually in a, in a tournament, and I'm going against a, a field of 200 people, most times or not, there's teams that team up and they fish the same body of water, and one guy will go up in the north, the other guy will go up in the south, the other guy will go in the west, and the other guy will go in the east. And if one of those guys catches fish, they call their buddies over, and next thing you know, I'm fishing against the team instead of fishing against an individual. Now, this happened every tournament I've fished in. Every single tournament I've been in. So, 
how is that fair to the individual angler? I'd rather see a guy go one-on-one. -on -one. And in this tournament racket series, you ask anybody now who's in the Elite Eight, the Final Four, or the champion, they've had to go against four to six rounds of a gauntlet. And the competition gets better and better. And they fished every single week in different conditions. They fished against a guy in different places. And they fished mano a mano. And I'm telling you, they have wound up fishing not just one technique. They've had to go through the entire gauntlet and the entire tackle box to, to, to proceed. So is live fishing better than tournament bracket online fishing? Maybe. But I'm here to tell you that this style of fishing here at Kayak Bass Bracket Tour is a game changer. And anybody who goes through the bracket and survives honestly has more respect from the anglers who's competed against it and competed in it than any live tournament I've ever fished. You can comment. We can debate. But I'm here to tell you, you ask the people who's fished it, good or bad, I welcome it all. Take care.